Hello everybody and welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. So in this episode what we're going to do is finish the majority of the harvest. There's going to be one field left to do, that is field number six. It is a corn field which we're going to harvest as corn, not silage. Uh, so that's going to have to wait for a bit. But yes, today is the final day of the cereal crop harvest. So we've got two fields left. Uh, one of them is actually in full swing now. Uh, the New Holland TX34 is currently harvesting it. Uh, it's 27% full. We have the trailer to unload it. Is this the way in? I think so. So, yeah, it's going to be bailed as well. Now the bales, that's going to be a bit of a different issue because we've got to move what is going to be a lot of bales. Uh, so we're going to get the auto stack for this job. Should work pretty well. As you can see, the harvester is only just moved into this field. So we'll be waiting quite a while. In fact, I should think that the entire field will fit into the combine. So let's begin with the baler. So I haven't driven the baler since, well, last time. I think, oh yeah, it's all folded up. Yeah, I, I don't think there's going to be many bales up here. But we've got the big field just over there. That's a wheat field. And chances are there's going to be quite a bit coming off that, so it should be good. We'll just get whatever we can do off here. But the thing is, all the fields are very productive, so that means the straw should be as well. So really, there shouldn't be any issues with, you know, a, a very bad yield on any of the straw. So there should be quite a few bales, technically. Oh yes, we need to go back to the yard to refill as well. Diesel. That's running very low. Okay, we probably should give it a bit of time, actually, just to get ahead. Uh, I didn't realise we were so fast getting to the field. So I think it did start about five minutes before I got here. would have to ask the worker to uh, tell us exactly when they started. Right, the first bale is going to drop. There we go. Another bale to add to the long list of bales to pick up. And actually while we're waiting we'll just clear up these bits that have been missed. I've absolutely no idea how many bales we're going to get today. I'm thinking like 25. Yeah, about 25. But I'll just yeah, prepare myself with the trailer. It looks to be yielding very well. 76% already. So there's me saying that the combine won't fill within this field, and it would probably fill twice. So as I'm sure you'll know by now, we're actually taking all the grain back to the yard because we're waiting for a great demand. Uh, this great demand will likely come very soon. Obviously we've got three different crop types which we're going to sell so all it takes is one of those to come along and we'll sell all of what we have of that particular crop. Uh, so for example oilseed rape if we get it we'll sell it all. The annoying thing is with every crop type we actually just have over the trailer's capacity of grain. This really is because we started off with some but that is a good thing. Slightly frustrating but obviously more money. So it's going to take at least two trips to the cell point. One full load, one partially full load, like almost empty load actually. I guess what you do is split it half and half. Well, that is absolutely incredible, the amount of bales that we've actually just got off this field. I can't believe it. It's like, it must be at least 10. It is. It's 10 bales. 
10 bales from this tiny field. What is that one going to produce? We're going to have to wait and see. But first, we've actually got to take the baler off. We're going to have to go back to the yard with the other tractor as well. The other tractor needs to empty its trailer because otherwise we'll contaminate the, the grain. We've got barley and wheat here. We have to empty it first. And we're going to refuel. Then the Fent is actually going to go over to the store to pick up the auto stacker so we can sell these bells very quickly. Because uh, there's just so many. If I did this with just the front loader, we would literally be here for the rest of the series, just moving bales. So we must get it done very quickly. So we'll put the barley into storage, no doubt as soon as I do this we're going to get a message saying great demand on barley or oilseed rape or something. It would be good if we can get the great demand after harvest when we're not as busy, uh, but we'll have to just see what happens. If a great demand does come up we'll have to take it because we can't really afford to wait around for another one to appear. We need three, we need one for OSR, wheat and barley, so uh, yeah, it's probably unlikely we're going to get all three. But there is a while, there is quite a while to uh, to have this happen. Uh, we're basically finishing the series in the winter, so it's early autumn, quite a long time to go. So it's not really too uh, stressful at the moment. The pressure isn't really on just yet. Anyway, yeah, let's just, uh, well, hopefully it's still following, probably crashed. My amazing driving has made it crash into something. Yeah, so fuel first, fuel is over here. It might still be coming. Uh, it is, yeah, it's still on the way. Fuel is here. This one. There we go. So we'll fill this up to the top. And while it's doing that, the other tractor should come flying around the corner here. It needs to go into here, so actually it'd be better if it can go up the other way. Won't be quite as tight. Uh, stop! Whoa, crazy driver! That's it, you go all the way around. Uh, so from that field we've got 9,767 litres of barley. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'm assuming it's good just because we already know that uh, it, was, it was a good uh, you know, productivity. This is probably going to put the grand total of barley up to about 40,000 litres, possibly even over that. I'll open up this menu just so we can see. It is, yeah, it's over. It's 40,873 litres. Impressive. That needs to go back over to the field. And like I say, this one needs to go with us to the store. It's all refilled. That's going to cost us £569 in diesel. Not too bad, I suppose. Right, see you back at the field. So the combine is totally full. Luckily, it's full of this end of the field. It makes things easier. I will stop the worker directly underneath the auger. Let's see if I can time this right. It is going quite fast. Good. And that should continue without any problems. So, to the auto stacker. Let's spend a bit of money. But this is really um, spending money to make money. We're hopefully going to get a lot of money from these bales because there's going to be so many. And the auto stacker technically shouldn't really be that expensive, I wouldn't have thought. Leasing, that is, we're not buying it. Let's find some prices. Please don't be too expensive. So it's going to come into the. Uh, Bailing technology, it's this one here. £6,160 per operating hour, 2800 per day, 560 That's fine. That is not a problem. We should be able to make a good profit despite those fees. So the combine has continued without a problem. That's very good. So we'll just leave it to it until it's full again. I wonder if we've got time to go over to the first field and clear that before we go back over to the other field to unload the combine. Hard to say. I'll try it. We'll, we'll take a risk here. Although technically the combine should be able to unload anyway without our intervention. Because the workers should have a brain, really. <laughs> uh, yes, they should be able to unload. 
Now from this field we're actually very lucky because the Bell Cell Point is incredibly close. And also, the, uh, the Square Bale Auto Stacker can take more bales than the Round Bale Stacker. So although we have a lot, it shouldn't take that many loads. Uh, to be honest, I'm not quite sure on the capacity. I do have a rough figure of 16 in my head. I don't know if that's over the top. We'll find out when it gets to 50% because we just double it. I wonder if it is 16. I don't really use it enough to know. I very rarely use the auto stacker. Okay, yeah, it is. It is 16. Because we've got 8. 8 plus 8, 16. How useful mathematics is. Okay, so if there's 60, I don't know how many we've produced. I think. Oh, I did a thing. I think it was 19. I think it was. So there would definitely be a return to the field. But luckily, uh, wheat, straw, and barley straw still turns into the same type of bale. So we'd have to unload if we only have like three or something on. How's the combine doing? 53% full. That's not too bad. It is a very big field though. Compared to the other fields on the map. Obviously, compared to certain maps, the fields on this map are tiny, but yeah, we've got some pretty small ones here. Okay, so we'll pick this one up and the far one over here. Should be three left. Yep. Good. Okay, so yeah, I think the straw cell point is actually at the exact same cell point as the wool. So if we just head over here, we should be able to work it out. Just through the barrier. The wool is the first place. I think it must be at the back of the yard. We also do have a grain cell point here. Okay, let me just go out of cab view. Aha! That looks strawy. Very strawy. Let's reverse in. The combine is 80%. So it's going to be waiting for a bit, unless it doesn't load. Hopefully it does. Now please, be close enough to the trigger. Almost. <laughs> wow. £413 per bale. That is very good. Ridiculously good, really. But I'm not complaining, because that is decent money for us. We have plenty more to come. Some of this will be a time lapse, just because, yeah, it's, it's all the same stuff over and over. Um, which is fun. It's just... Yeah, obviously, the same thing. <laughs> That's just how it is. That's good. I guess that is the thing with farming, though. You've got to keep doing the same sort of job to finish the job, if that makes any sense at all. It doesn't bother me at all that we're going to do a lot of this, but I know it does bother a few people when I do the same thing for a long time. Which is why I do the time lapse, is to keep everybody happy. So, the final bail, just over here. In fact, we're not going to be too late back to the combine, so it shouldn't be waiting for too long. Let's go and sort it out. Actually, I might sell these bells just as we're here. Might as well do. Means we can carry three more back from the other field. Uh, any problem is with having three on, it has to slide all those bells to the bottom before it can unload. There we go. So we'll clear this field before we put the baler back on. No point in leaving this field full. We'll have a lot of bales by the end of the other field. The uh, thing is that we know there's 10 bales in this, in this field. We can hold 16, so this is not going to fill the auto stacker, which is good. We can get some more out of the other field as well. But at least these will be picked up and we'll be able to say that we've finished this field. 
It's mostly psychological, really. <laughs> it's the process of finishing stuff. Uh, just because I can see that I have cleared the bales doesn't really make us any further ahead because we still have to bale the other field. If I bailed the other field before doing this, I would feel like I'm further behind. But actually, it's exactly the same. So the combine is once again 50 pretty much percent full. We have to keep an eye on the trailer's uh, load as well. I'm hoping it will be able to hold the entire field. It is a big trailer, 30,000 litres. But with it being wheat, uh, you do get quite a bit off it, so it might fill it. I think it's looking fairly promising at the moment. Helper F is uh, blocked by an object. Why is it tipping backwards as if it's sunk into the ground? I don't know what's going on. What is the object? It's not my log fork, is it? Hiding in the, in the crop. That's mysterious. Nothing's here. Oh, I see. There is a mound. A mound of soil. Well, I didn't see that coming. I suppose that man is going to run the whole way. I'll keep an eye on it. Yes, we have to keep an eye on that because otherwise it's just going to keep getting stuck. I wonder what it's for. <laughs> it's grounded now. Well, in that case, we're going to have to take this headland off first. the only thing for it. Well now I've been across a few times we can actually see that it's not really covering the whole field, it's just this little piece here. So it shouldn't really be a problem after we get past this bit. So back onto a worker and hope for the best. Though it is about to be full. Come on. That is the baling all done. So what we're going to do is fold the baler up, drop it off, check our information page and see exactly how many bales we've produced today. Uh, as we know that all the bales that we have produced today have been in these two fields, so we should be able to calculate exactly how many loads it's going to require to take it all over to the sell point. 41 created bales. Well, luckily, that isn't actually that many loads. Um, if my calculation is correct, it's three loads. So let's continue by hitching up to the auto stacker once again. Fill it up, we've got space for six more. I'm sure it won't be too hard to find six in this area. The sound is always very amusing to me, the auto stacker. I always think that the sound it makes when it picks up the bale is the same as when you go bowling, temping bowling, when you hit them all 
and they all go tumbling down. Same sort of sound. Uh, unless it's just me that thinks that, it probably is, but take a listen. Hopefully it is loud enough for you to be able to hear it. Um, but yeah. Just what I think of. So, yeah, one more bail. There we go. And now over to the cell point, which I think is going to have to be the same one. I think there is only one anyway. Although, actually, yeah, there could be there could be two. Yeah, so let's just go over there. The place that we know. Always the safest option. And we'll clear all this field. I think that's probably enough of the time lapsing for today. So it's, it's probably going to be more of a jump cut kind of a job now. It is still a surprisingly long way to the cell point. But as we only have a couple of loads, or a few loads to do, it doesn't really matter. It's actually two and a half loads, pretty much. But obviously, that's three. The half load we get will take back to the yard. I think it would be still wise to keep some. Um, although it is nice to be able to get all the money for it. I think it would be not very good to sell everything. Because you just never know when you may need quite a, a large amount of straw. We have some, but I don't think we have that much. Not enough to confidently say we can sell it all. We'll sell this load, and the next load, and then the half load after that, uh, we'll keep. So, it's hard to judge exactly how far away we are from the roof, but that's good. That's very good. Right, back to the field for load number two. We should be able to clear the rest of this field in no time. It is nice that the capacity of this thing is so large, because it does really speed things up. It's a bit tight through here. But yep, here we are once again. Let's go up and down the field. Instead of sideways. Quite a lot of drops over here. It's weird how they've all dropped in the same area. Okay, that's uh, four. Gonna have to spin round. Yeah, I suppose it makes it easier if they're all together. And finally, the 16th bale of this load. There we go. Right, back over to the cell point once again. I'm getting used to this. Okay, so same thing again for the final time. Just reverse it in. Should do. So we're on 184, 184,000. Brings us to 187,000, just for some bales. Oh no, wait, sorry, not looking behind me. It brings us to 191,000. I think that is extremely good for bales. I think that is very good. Aren't they usually about £20 each or something? I'm not totally sure. The final few. I didn't do a calculation to see how many would actually be left. Um, but I'm guessing it's about 9 or 10. I would have thought. So if we count them, I just think there will be about 10 here. That's four. Obviously five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like it's probably nine. But still, what we've produced today is just incredible. Yep, so I think that is the last one. Uh, the tractor and trailer is totally full with wheat. That is going to be sorted out in the next episode, along with the combine halves. So we'll pack everything up, make it all look much neater, uh, take the baler home too. But as for today, that's pretty much it. Let's go and take this back. We can't drop the bales off yet because we have to put them into storage. Again, it's a job for the next episode. So yes, I think we are virtually done. We're back at the yard. 
So we're just going to put it over round the back where the uh, manure, where the slurry fill point is, also where the access to the hayloft is. So that's the best place for it. But this transfer has had quite a bit of work to do today. We're sitting at eight hours on the hour meter. Not for today, obviously, just overall throughout the entire series. But there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And uh, until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.